Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think you're depressed. I I already know that. What I want to know is why I'm depressed and what you can do about it. Ah. Hmm. Um. For years, it was accepted that there was a blood-brain barrier, a biological Berlin Wall, which blocked any interaction between the brain and the immune cells and proteins circulating in the blood. Your brain was unaffected by the immune system dealing with an attack on the body. But it turns out that inflammatory proteins in the blood can traverse the blood-brain barrier, meaning the immune system can change the function of the brain and that can make us feel depressed. There is an evolutionary logic to this, Depression caused by inflammation may have prompted our ancestors to withdraw from social contact when they were infected, thus helping them to recover and protecting the rest of the tribe from becoming infected too. That can seem less useful today, but knowing that our moods and behaviours can be affected by the immune system promises to revolutionise not just the way we treat depression, but also the way we treat schizophrenia, Alzheimer's disease and other disorders of the mind. And as we find new ways of treating mental symptoms, based on their links to the body, we may relieve the shadow of shame associated with mental illness and could change the whole way we think about ourselves 